kiteism is accepted and it's kind of like racism unless we hear uh, how these people are feeling and how we can be more just empathetic and compassionate then we, we, we don't know how to help you asian guys who can should it's your duty man i actually prefer to date women that are and that is you know being considerate of your short asian friends <laughs> <laughs> you privileged guy um, you got privilege i'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> should tall asian guys stop dating short asian women uh everybody i'm here with my six foot two asian model entrepreneur friend jack liang to talk about it thank you jack for being here thank you andrew love being here i can share some of my perspective of being uh six foot since i was 12 so hope you guys get some insight hopefully this is a funny and productive conversation uh so if you guys are excited about this please hit that like button and check out other episodes of the hot pop boys uh everybody heightism Big topic nowadays, especially yes. when it comes to dating. There's a lot of like videos out on the internet about women's preferences, men's preferences. Um, but let's just put it, let, let's just talk about it in an Asian sense because we all know that within the Asian world, there uh, generally Asian people are known to be a little bit shorter than other people, right? Just yes. a little bit, maybe one or two inches, right? On average, yeah. the average Asian male height is about five seven in America, right. but it might be increasing as the generations go on. So uh, the theory goes, and this is mm -hmm. concerning tall Asian guys out there tall Asian guy right here. Mm -hmm. If tall Asian guys date short Asian women, then it throws off the balance in the dating pool for short men and tall women because of heightism. There are less available tall guys for the tall women, and of course, much less available short women for short men, being right. especially that women usually want a guy who's taller than them. Right. I, I don't think Andrew's saying, like, we're saying you can date anyone you want, but, yeah, like, should we be consideration, like, should we consider... Uh, like other people's perspective is right. what you're saying. Yeah. These are dynamics that feel very, very real to a lot of people. And now we, between us, we know a lot of like really short Asian dudes. Yeah. So I guess like Jack, you being a six foot two, like, you know, considered a, a handsome guy. Thank you. Um, I guess what's your initial reaction to all this? And, and when did you start to realize that this was such a huge dynamic? Yeah, I mean, I started realizing it as early as 13 when people started commenting like hey man you're tall like do you think you'd be different or act different if you were short and uh and then it i thought it was a one-time thing but it just kept on coming up and it still comes up um you know guy at the bar was like hey you it's the unfair you're tall and you're muscular i'm like bro like <laughs> i like i didn't you know you could be muscular like uh but but as as more people started approaching me with it i started to get more compassion i'm like wow there's actually real pain here right it's it's kind of just a different perspective and and hearing uh, so many people talk about it, it, it becomes real. Yeah, no, and I think it is a conversation that it's hard to have with a lot of, like, tall Asian guys because it might make you feel kind of guilty, right? Yeah. Like, oh, Jack, you're privileged, man. Like, right. you're the tall Asian guy. You can date whatever type of woman you want, and, like, you don't have to date, like, short Asian women. And by short, I'm just referring to, like, maybe 5'1", five, 5'2", five, you know? Like, women mm -hmm. who are even more than, like, 8 inches shorter than you, right? Yes. Um, and I guess, like, at the end of the day, guys, obviously our stance is, like, of course, you can date who you want, seek healthy relationships, seek sure. connection. But being a desirable tall Asian guy, is there something to consider? Because we all yeah. know these tall Asian guys, and some of them do date short women. Yeah. And you can't help but, as a shorter Asian guy, feel like, you know, whether it's true or not, but you feel like that that's messing up your dating pool as a shorter Asian guy because there's not like an influx of like a bunch of other women who like short Asian guys in particular, you know? Yeah, uh, you know, if a friend of mine who's more average height, we go to a, uh, a bar and we see two beautiful women and the shorter woman is more attractive and, uh, you know, I might be interested... I want to create a better experience for all of us, right? So that's my goal, and I, I would definitely uh, allow or, or just, like, want my, my friend to be like, hey, you should talk to, to, to the pretty woman, right, and, and see what that's like. But do you think, like, even you having that state of mind to be like, hey, you know what? Like, maybe this shorter, attractive w woman of the pair is actually – I'm more attracted to her and she might be interested in me, but for the sake of just having like a, a fun interaction with people, let me try to balance it out. Like, how did you come around to that? Is it because like you kind of had to date enough and feel secure that you 
can get attention so that you don't have like this kind of scarcity mindset that to be honest, a lot of people and particularly Asian guys can have right because there's not a lot of Asian dudes out there that are getting a lot of attention. And we understand this because I document this very clearly on this channel. Yeah. Um, so like, did, did, was that, did that take some time to come around to that? Yeah. I mean, it took some time as obviously being an Asian guy, there's a lot of issues uh, with how we were perceived. And, you know, I lived in the Bay, Andrew, it was predominantly male, predominantly Asian male. And I felt like a lot of guys were very insecure sometimes. And, um, almost treated me like a threat, and I'm here like, hey, we're supposed to work together, but honestly, we're not, obviously, you know, you can't control how people feel. Like, uh, hey, excuse me, Jack, uh, you know, there's not a lot of, uh, how do I say, fellas like you in the Bay Area. Yeah. Uh, you know, we're usually all just uh, <laughs> real regular guys here. Yeah, so, so <laughs> Coming in like 6'2", like, yeah, Jack Lee. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they're like, hey, this is our field, you know, like, there's like, uh, my friend my friend said this, it was kind of like Revenge of the Nerds, it was like, um, you know, no, and no disrespect to those no guys, but there, there no was disrespect. a feeling of that, right? It and, felt and, like that. Yeah, and uh, what did they, they probably thought you were just doing some bodybuilding app out there. Yeah, there was like, you know, what's this guy do? Why is he here? And I'm like, hey, you know, I'm just trying to be like, you know, one of you guys, I work at, I worked at Instagram. Like, hey, you know, uh, <laughs> let me, let me in, you know? And they're like, no. <laughs> I was like, damn. <laughs> I, I, I guess, you know, um, heightism is such uh, an accepted form of discrimination, mm-hmm. right? Because like even in the workplace, there are studies that show that taller and a particularly also taller and more attractive people, they also end up getting more opportunities and possibly getting paid more. There's also mm. this story that I read from this woman who felt like that during the pandemic over Zoom calls, that's when she actually felt the most equal with everybody else wow. because nobody could discriminate against her 4'10 height. Wow. Because she is short. 4'10 is small. And in a workplace, people are constantly looking down on you, like Uh, physically, and they can't help but that color how they view you. You know? So it's like, heightism is such a thing that everybody just accepts and embraces. Right. But- you know, for it, it is a very painful thing, like you mentioned. Yeah, I mean, like, I would, especially for a lot of like, I'm five nine, so I'm yeah. not the shortest Asian dude, and I might present even as five ten. You know, because my hair. Uh, I think I you're taller, Andrew. I think you got the five ten. I'm definitely five yeah, nine, yeah. though. I'm, I am not <laughs> taller than five nine. Trust me. But, but you know, I got a lot of friends that are five four. Right. You know, Same. and they're always like, "Man, man, nah, man, I can't do that. I'm too short. I can't do that." And, and it's it's definitely. Um, it's definitely real. Guys, there's some funny comments from the internet. Let's talk about this, guys. Uh, when tall girls can't find themselves tall guys because the short girls took them all. Mm. Can you? It's funny because being very tall for a woman can actually play against you just like being very short as a man. Yes. Right? But I, I think the difference is like, because if you're like a tall Asian woman, right? Let's right. say you're 5'10". Like, and you want a guy who's clearly taller than you, then you're really looking at like six foot Asian guys, right? And there are six foot Asian guys, but not a ton. And also they might be dating shorter women that are like five, three, five, four. Right. It's possible. Right. Because those shorter women are like, really like, they they really love the tall guys. (laughs) Not all of them, but yeah, you know, so I, and then also uh, on a, on another end, you know, the short guys, they don't have options because if you're five, two and you're a guy, and you need to be taller than a girl. How many, what's the market of women that you, you can probably pull from, right? Right. Um, Cause these are all, these are all real life dating dynamics guys. Yeah. I mean, I think back to what you were saying, it was like heightism is accepted, right? It, it, it's kind of unfair because a lot of people are born this way. Right. And, and it's kind of like racism, unless we hear uh, how these people are feeling and how we can be more just empathetic and compassionate, then we, we, we don't know how to help. Exactly. Yo, this funny comment. I can imagine all the tall girls and short guys are gathering at a bar to vent their frustrations over height attraction. Sounds like a fun party. (laughs) (laughs) I've seen some parties like that. I think they're like rigid dudes and, uh, you know, Uh, models. (laughs) uh, Definitely. They exist. Yeah. Those those, those couples exist. All right. So uh, and then there's this other comment that's like tall, good looking Asian guys should date outside of the Asian pool just like tall, good-looking Asian women often do, Mm. right? So now they're kind of saying, like, even though Asian guys in general, and you you can even confirm this, that even as a taller, you know, handsome Asian guy, you can still say that you felt discriminated against just for being Asian. Absolutely. Even at your tier, right? Yeah. And now, but a lot of taller, good-looking Asian women, they probably often do date outside of the Asian ethnicity in the Asian community. Right. So then this comment saying, like, yo, you Asian guys who can... Should 
It's your duty, man. Yeah. What do you think about that? I, you know, I, it didn't come to me like that's not a natural thought, but like after hearing it, it kind of makes sense. Like we should deviate from what is expected from us, right? We should see and and uh, expand if we're able to. Um, so that's what I think. I guess at the end of the day, uh, and we're gonna get into our takeaways and wrap this video up. Hopefully, it was a, a good conversation. But like, do do should Asian guys, tall, you know, above average Asian guys, should mm -hmm. they feel some responsibility not to date super short women that? should be or could also be dating shorter Asian guys? Yeah, you know, honestly, back to what you said, let's love who you want, but it's your job, it's our job to create a better experience for everyone, and that is, you know, being considerate of your short Asian friends. <laughs> <laughs> you privileged guy. Um, you got privilege. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I guess, guys, overall, I got some takeaways. Obviously, I want to note that not all tall Asian guys are the same privilege. Right. You know, they don't. Not all tall Asian guys are super desired. You know, some of them, you know, are uh, have their own issues. So I don't want to just say a blanket statement like all tall Asian guys are in a way, way better position, right? Because Absolutely. it also depends on the family you're from, how you look, how you act, Learning how you're raised, yeah. your education level, right? Emotional um, levels, yeah. But yeah, I do think that tall Asian guys uh, shouldn't shy away from this conversation because being tall amongst Asians especially, it comes with certain perks, okay? Mm -hmm. It does come from with certain advantages, but it also comes with some responsibilities. Yeah. You got to also be... Partially, you're expected to be more of the protector, Jack. Yeah, you if know. If some stuff goes down, a tense situation, you got to get in there and kind of, you know, break, <laughs> yeah, it break it up. I guess. Yeah, I felt like I've always had that responsibility. Um, but I also feel like, hey, man, like, let's just create a good experience. Um, you know, look out for your friends, you know, like make sure everyone is 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 having a good time and has, has a chance to, you know, talk to the pretty girl. Yeah. Uh, all right, everybody. Um, again, share this video with a tall Asian friend of yours. Let us know in the comments down below what you think about this. Did you find this conversation helpful? Um, and, and yeah, just what's your thoughts? Like, are you a tall or short Asian person? You know, personally for me, I actually, I actually prefer to date women that are between five, four and five, eight. That's, good height. That's kind of, and I, I've dated women my height before. Mm -hmm. It doesn't, I don't know. I guess I, I guess I kind of like it for some reason. That's yeah. just what I'm attracted to. Everybody has their preferences. Again, you you fall in love with who you want to love and make the healthy connections. But, uh, you know, maybe as tall, good-looking Asian guys, you have some responsibility there. <laughs> yeah. It almost doesn't feel like we have that much responsibility because, you know, we. I, I feel like as an Asian man, there is so many uh, discrimination towards us. But, like, yes, you know, hearing all the feedback, seeing these comments, it's like, yeah, we do have some responsibility here. All right, everybody. Thank you so much. Shout out to Jack. You can check out his Instagram down below. Um, let us know what you thought. And until next time, we out. Peace.